Hey YouTube and Facebook friends and family. Today's video is dedicated to my mother. Facebook and YouTube friends and family. So today we are back with another episode. Today we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna season a pork roast butt. Now we're gonna go ahead and take off the net. Now I am gonna upload the video on how I cleaned this. I actually had it sitting in vinegar and salt water for 50 minutes. And actually get all of that stuff off of the meat that's not supposed to be there before you digest it. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You guys. So today is going to be a very interesting day. We're actually going to do a full four, a full four course meal. We're going to do a dessert. And I'm going to try an African dessert called fufu. And it's going to be plantain fufu. But I'm actually going to make it in my own way by spicing it up. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's more fun when you make a recipe your own. So we're just going to go ahead and take this netting off. Now, I did let it soak with the netting on there. The netting just basically keeps it together. So... I actually let it soak and rinse. Now, we're before we do anything, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a little bit of red wine on there. That's to go ahead and give it that pizzazz that it actually needs. And then we're actually going to go ahead and put some olive oil on here. So everything could go ahead and stick on here. All the seasonings, all the flavoring. Now, I was contemplating if I was going to put this in the, uh, the oven. And I want it to be grilled so bad because I got a taste for some grill flavor. So, I think I'm actually going to put it on the grill. Once we get it all seasoned. Now, it is in March. We are in Rochester. We did just have a nice little snowstorm. But when you were cooker... You can cook in any and barbecue in any weather condition. So I think we're going to try to pull it off today. All right, you guys. So in this mix, you already know I love making my own um, uh, marinades. So we have cilantro. We have lime. We have red pepper. And then I also put a little bit of cream of chicken in here. Just to have it that cream base. One of these days, I'm actually going to do an episode on how to make your own marinaires. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and get this baby soaked through. Nice and soaked through. So I was wondering how you guys are doing on this beautiful Sunday morning. I know Rochester has a big event coming. Gorilla, she's coming to the Main Street Armory. Shout out to Gorilla. Hope everybody be safe. No gunplay, no fighting. Just have good, clean fun. I'm not in a free world anymore. That was me many years ago. But be honest with you, I've never been to those type of concerts. That's just not my cup of tea. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to season it with our usual seasonings. We have our adobo, our um, garlic, and um, parsley. We also have our famous meat tenderizer, uh, which is not a tenderizer, but it's a moisturizer. And we also have the adobo and complete in here as well. When I say you guys, you can cook with basically those four seasonings on just about every dish. Um, I like to try to switch it up sometimes just to give you guys a little different um, seasonings that I like to, uh, to use. But those are my main two, my main four go-tos. Like, my mom cooked just about everything with those seasonings. And like I said, I learned from the best, which is Hattie Reed. So we're going to get this in here. Now, the other day... I was actually going through and looking through um, our daily bread. I read that a lot. Um, I love our daily bread. For some reason, it, it just gives me different situations, different clarities on life. 
And then I just love how every day is a new scripture. So, reading that, I had um, came across a story of a man that was in Rome that had leprosy. And Jesus was actually uh, doing a sermon. And the guy interrupted the sermon, basically just busted through the crowd and interrupted the sermon and pleaded to God to remove the dirt from him, to remove the leprosy, to make, to take, remove the dirt and make him clean. And I found that to be amazing how God stopped what he was doing. He heard the pleas, he heard the cries, and he heard the genuineness in the man's voice. He prayed for the man. The leprosies, the lepers on his body went away. And he lived a, a, a very lonely, uncompassionate life in Rome because people didn't speak to him. They looked at him as dirty because he had this leprosy disease. And God took the time to actually heal this man. So I took that as is nothing that God would not do for his, his, his uh, followers. The people that genuinely love him. All right, you guys. So we are back. So I already let this pork roast soak in the marinara for about six hours. Now I'm about to add the veggies to it. So these are some green peppers that I actually had boiling in chicken broth. It's going to be really good. It's going to have a nice flavor to it. And then I'm going to add some more cilantro over in here. I got some red peppers. And I also got some of the, um, the orange peppers in here as well. And then I have some onions. And then I have the whole garlic cloves over here. So now this was the machine that I was telling you that I had where actually it turned it into like a, um, a parade. So I'm just going to do that on camera so you guys can see that. I'm just going to go ahead and finish getting the rest of the cilantro leaves out of here. I have some red jalapeno peppers in here as well. Just to give it a, a somewhat of a fiery taste. When I say this thing works miracles, it works miracles. It was worth the $25 from Walmart. Now, um, I can't pronounce the name of the brand over in here and here we go now you can see on camera how it actually chops it up and it just parades it really really nice and fine now this is what i also put the takis in now it looks like guacamole but it's not guacamole. <laughs> this is all the seasonings and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish putting this stuff in here. So I'm just going to finish adding the onions and stuff to it. Just so it can have that nice bold flavor that we need. Just going to put that back on. And it's on. And now I'm hitting the second phase gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up because you guys know I like to clean as I go I don't like no mess at all so we got this going actually looking it should be looking just like this once this everything is worked through and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour this over in it and then I'm gonna got we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the two pieces over in here now you guys know how I am about my seasoning we're gonna go ahead and finish putting the rest of the season over in here because it's gonna be good for the broth once we add the water and stuff now we're just gonna go ahead and we're just going to work this over and on the meat. Now 
Now this is how it's looking. And this is how it should look once we have everything over in the meat. Now it kind of looked like applesauce once it's in there, but that's how it's looking. Looks amazing. Now that's before we put the water over in it to give it the broth. We're gonna put the water over in it and we're gonna put this on in the oven on 400 and we're gonna slow cook it with the aluminum foil on it for up to two and a half hours just to make sure it's tender. All right, you guys, we'll be back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish you guys were here to smell this. This is how it's looking. All right, you guys, so we are back. So we have the pork uh, pork roasted, uh, pork shoulder roast. And I'm just cutting into it. You see how it's falling apart? That's how it should be falling apart. Like, just literally falling apart as soon as I, like, cut into it. I'm just going to put it on a dish really quick. So you guys can see the moisture that is in there. When I tell you the moisture is in here, it's absolutely scrumptious, you guys. I'm going to actually cut into the second one. As soon as I actually not even cut into it, it just falls apart. That's how tender this roast is supposed to be. We're going to finish cutting it over here. Not even cutting into it. Falling apart. Thank it you, Facebook and YouTube friends and family, for attending okay. another video at Rena May's Kitchen. Today, inspirational quote is from John 15 and 7. If you remain in me and my word remain in you, ask whatever you want and it will be done for you. John 15 and 7. And if nobody told you they love you today, just remember God loves you. Amen. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Which is plantain fufu which is a, a African or it could be a Nigerian fufu. Um, now, I Americanize it a little bit by adding a little bit of three teaspoons of sugar, vanilla flavoring, and coconut milk and just a half a cup of water. And you're going to stir it just like mashed potatoes on the stove until it actually stiffens. Now, we have our pinto beans. We had uh, ham hocks in there. All the ham hocks is gone. I don't like the ham hocks. So I just put the uh, bone there just for the reminder and for design. So we're going to go ahead and open up this fufu. Now I let it sit. And we're just going to go ahead and eat it from out of there. And I'm going to eat a little bit just on the camera. Oh my God. Thebomb.com. All right. Nobody told you they love you. Just remember God loves you each and every day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I wish you guys was here to eat this food because this food about to go down. Yeah.